Okay gang, we're going to take another look at this John Deere SST-16 Tough Torque Hydrostat I've been working on. Now here's a little background. Um, the failure originated here at the pinion gear that rides on the reduction shaft. Uh, the bearing failed and literally turned the cage and the bearings and everything else into dust. Um, tore up the shaft inside of this gear which acts as the outer race for the bearing and scattered metal filings all the way through the gear section uh, in the process it allowed this gear here to float so there was some chipping to the teeth here and some wear on the outside uh, the edge of these teeth here on the ring gear for the planetary set on this side so major issue also damaged the bearing on the outer end of the reduction shaft here so I priced the parts of these things and it's prohibited to even think about buying a new reduction shaft and this gear this uh, pinion gear so I think I found a workaround for this and what I did was to have a machine shop use the HVOF uh, high velocity oxy fuel spraying technique to uh, build the shaft here back out to size or build it back up and resize it recut the groove in it uh, also resize the inside of this pinion gear and we found a needle bearing to fit that so that stuff is all good to go we're good there replace the outer bearing on the reduction shaft here now the rest of the bearings this thrust bearings the thrust bearings here on this shaft are all still good the bushings for the axles all that stuff's still good the uh, fortunately these cases they have filtering between the gear section and the pump motor section so these stopped most of the metal filings from getting into the pump motor section and what little did was taken care of by the filters on the pumps so we've taken all that apart there was no damage to the pump motor assemblies very little negligible um, and removed the axles planetary gear sets everything in the section and give it a very thorough cleaning so we got rid of all the uh, metal filings we also cleaned the pump motor section um, like I said there's no noticeable damage to any of that so I think we're good to go we'll uh, finish removing the silicon stuff in the case half from the case halves um, and reassemble it I don't think the damage to these two gears here is going to be a, a problem now that uh, the reduction shaft has been fixed this gear will ride where it's supposed to and there's plenty of good thrust service down in there the uh, chipping at the end on the ends of the teeth here shouldn't even be an issue as well as on this uh, ring gear here I don't think that's going to be a problem I doubt if it even causes any noise so that's where we're at uh, we're going to finish removing the silicone on the case halves and bolt it back together bearings and the swash plates are still good these uh, everything is in pretty good shape other than this localized damage here so one of the things you might move I might mention here while I'm at it when you pull a motor pump assembly out of this thing comes apart this little pin falls out it's not evident as to where it goes at first glance but it uh, fits into this hole in the face of this uh, where the motor bolts onto it so remember that if you run across that thing don't know where it goes uh, so basically we're going to put it back together stick this thing back in the mower and see what happens uh, we don't have much money in it now so no big loss things don't work out as planned but I I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. 
So that's it for now, and we'll get back to it later. Thanks for watching.